Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today is a quick flip through. Um, you know, I've been working with um, different traveller's notebooks for each month, um, starting from March, for my day book. So, um, I've just finished my April and I thought I'd just do a quick flip through of um, what I've done so far. I've kept it quite simple. Um, I remember that last month I'd started, I'd actually just gotten hold of this fabric with the umbrellas on and uh, just all I've done is sewn it onto some cardstock. Um, what cardstock? Oh yes, it was the cardstock from the cover. Do you remember the cover of the notebook that I picked up in um, mm, paper, paper chase? Not paper chase, water stones. Just because I love the colours and the typewriter. So I, I kind of sewed it onto that and made a little thing. Yeah, just a little thingy, which I haven't done anything with yet. Little pocket. Anyway, let's go straight in. Um, as you can see here, I've used some Daphne's Diary because I love, 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 love the colours. And this is the little um, from the Vintage Ephemera pack from... Um, Oh, our atelier. That's uh, no, it's not for the ephemera pack. She does one every month, but I bought. You can actually buy the whole set for the whole year. So I bought a couple of sets because I'm uh, one for me and one for Amy that I'm working on at the moment. And um, yeah, I haven't popped anything in this yet. I've got something else to show you in a moment if I remember. So yeah, all I've done is basically pop some little pages in, and I probably will number the days as I go. A um, little bit of a, I love that picture, love that. I've uh, done a little bit of collage with uh, the lace I'm working on at the moment and the Daphne's diary. And this is the month to view. And it's colour color my days. And I just thought I could actually just make tiny little notes here. And then in my day book, I will um, elaborate day by day on things that I wanted to pop in. So that's what I'm going to try this month and maybe pop some more cards in. I don't, but I do you know I love that. I love the way that's turned out with that lace that I'm working with. Um, I'll show you in a mo. So I've backed it onto that. This page here was from, um, it was from a book, a magazine from last spring mindfulness i think it's called and that's that same bit of edith holden quite have a bit of edith holden in there from that mindfulness book it's a bit of daphne's diary and um, i've just put a little bit of uh, lace um on there and i've backed it onto this was a li little bit from that mindfulness i think book so lots of color and lots of little places to journal I really liked these. Um, I picked them up on holiday and I just love this little typewriter and I, I wanted to pop it here actually. I wanted to pop it here but the colours didn't go quite as I'd like. So um, what I've done is I've popped the card in onto the page and I've um, decoupaged some of that paper. A little bit of the uh, daisy trim. <coughs> Excuse me, daisy trim. And these umbrellas I had from a colouring page, I've just popped that on. I might actually colour it in, but I thought that'd be nice just to, you know, just because. And this was, um, oh, I, mm, I can't remember, is it Renoir, Monet? I can't remember which one. Um, it's from a book of art that I've picked up and I just love the colours. And it's something in the spring, it was called. So I've popped it on and I've just um, edged it with this beautiful olive green lace backed it onto this was um, from a Kath Kidston journal a travel journal and it's that's it's backed onto that as well if you can see I just love the dots I love the dots and uh, a bit of a Tim Holtz thing going on there and the um, other side of that page from the mindfulness book and it's beautiful it's beautiful stamp. I picked up a big bag of stamps. Um, 
in Oxfam when I was on holiday. Oh, this is so lovely. To Violets, a poem about violets for Edith Holden. April. The other side of that uh, Daphne's diary, I think. And the other side of the, um, oh, mindfulness book. Mindfulness page. Again, another side of the Daphne's diary. Another one of them, those umbrellas. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I haven't popped it anywhere. You may see me do a little bit more in this. But I have something else to show you that I think I may use in this. Some of these little, some little tags. It's the other side of that Daphne's diary and the mindfulness page. And that's the other side of the lace. I bought some of this fabric to make a really little vintage type dress for my daughter last summer or summer before. It's, it's beautiful. So I've cut a little bit. I quite fancy, you know, with a little 50s sort of dress. This is for her. I've cut a bit and I've popped it in here just because I love it. I love it. And I've edged it with this ribbon onto a Daphne's diary page. So that's that. I love the little bit where you can have see where the colourways are. And I also, let me just quickly. I picked some bits up yesterday when I was out and about um, in the works and they have these gift tags for 150 so I may take a couple of these out if you can see them is that better without the shadow but they're just you just pop them out and I think because they're plain on the back some of these could be just quite nice uh, dotted about in the little pockets that I've got in my in my day book know what you think you know, something like that could be quite maybe for May hello summer that could be pretty but if you have a chance to get down to um, the works well obviously if you live in the UK of course might be a bit of an expensive trek if you don't but that could be quite nice I think because for instance do -do -do -do, happy that could be let's have a look at that Let's have a look and see how that would work. How would that work in one of my little pockets? Just to pop a little note on. That could be quite nice, couldn't it? Happy. Anyway, you may see uh, me put some of those in. Make a pig's ear all of it. They also had these. I might just pop a little note on Instagram as well. Some die cut books for two pounds. So I bought two of these because I'm working on the um, vintage. I might call it sort of mm, trinkets and lace. It's a bit boring, but it's what it is. My latest. Um, so look, these could be quite nice. Popped about. Look how beautiful these are. in my day book oh my word oh my word I'll have to be a bit careful with that I think but how gorgeous is that that's going in so that's from that one <coughs> I'm so sorry so how lovely would that be just tucked at the back there a little note on it Oh, made it already, isn't it? Made it already. So, these are beautiful. I'm actually working on Amy's um, Traveller's Notebook and I've started to pop together some new soft um, notebooks, um, which I'm going to be working on as well. And this sort of thing, I think, will go quite nicely in it. Anyway, so guys, that's it. That's my um, take on my April, oh, I love that, day book. Hope you like it. And I've started, I've just got the cover ready for May. I'll pop it in here. Did I pop it in there? If you remember that from this month's Daphne's Diary. And um, I think that's going to be beautiful. That's going to be beautiful. I popped a card in, pop that in so far. I shall make it work with the green by hook or by crook. But anyway. So, 
hope you've enjoyed and found something interesting get down to the works if you get a chance because i think you won't be sorry and um that's it take care guys thanks for, for watching for those who um um watch regularly thanks for your company and for those of you who it might be in a new experience one of my rambling videos please like and subscribe if you do for more um just shares <clears throat> giveaways coming up in a few days and uh whatever you fancy really if you'd like <coughs> so <coughs> to hear me to see something done uh and a share that that'd be fine just put it in the comments below take care bye bye bye